So, and while I'm at it, just made the intro video to my official preview for Belgium versus England, um, second edition. And although at first I thought I'm not gonna make a video today to our driver driving to work, I said, well, it's the second to last drive that I have where I can make such um, a video. So let's make one going to work for the third place game and one coming home for the final. Um, yeah, and the traffic is light, so I think the third place game preview, my official preview, will be a rather short one. Um, as I said in the intro video to uh, the other preview, I'm wearing my England jersey. Uh, I actually really like it, gotta say that. Uh, and yes, they are not yet eliminated. And uh, to be honest, for me, elimination ends somewhere at the semi final. I think if you have reached the semi final, um, you have achieved something. At a big tournament, making the semi final is a big achievement from that moment on. Maybe, unless you're Brazil or Germany, maybe Italy, uh, but I think if you've reached that stage, you uh, surely can go home and say, Yes, I've done something big. Uh, so, for that reason, I have not retired, not bought and retired neither my England nor my Belgium jersey, which are both new. I'm sure you will see me wearing, me wearing Belgium uh, the latest on Sunday. Uh, I don't wear the jerseys of the teams that are playing. I have this weird thing with not wanting to jinx any team by wearing a jersey. If I would be in the stadium, I would wear it. But outside of the stadium, I don't. Call me crazy. I call myself crazy, crazy about that. But this is the pretty much the only real superstition that I have in life. Is me wearing jerseys of the teams that I'm watching TV or if they're playing somewhere and I'm not on the stadium, I don't wear or try not to wear the jerseys of those teams. It's a little bit harder for my hockey jerseys, but because I, I don't always follow the schedule now that I'm in Europe. But Belgium versus England, uh, the third place game. Third place games are always a strange affair, uh, especially since they frequently feature second string squads. And the hype ahead of the game is that we don't care about this game. And everyone says, why have this game? Why have this game? Well, I tell you why. First of all, uh, FIFA always had it and wanted to make it kind of this additional, I don't want to say cash grab, but you know, you, they're giving out a bronze medal, so they want to have a third place. Uh, and there is a little ceremony after, so for that reason, yes, I uh, have the third place uh, playoff. Um, and the other thing is that actually those games have been pretty darn entertaining. And it's because the pressure is off. But just look back at the last few. Um, we had the Dutch claiming they really are not interested and Brazil really wants to, um, you know, put them back in somewhat good standing uh, by beating the Netherlands after being humiliated by Germany. And then the Netherlands showed up and played actually for 15 minutes. And I, as far as I remember, the game was actually darn entertaining because Brazil also tried to score. It was kind of a freak of nature that uh, the Netherlands won 3-0. Uh, 2010, Germany-Uruguay was a 3-2 game, uh, the perfect 3-2. Germany in the lead, then Uruguay in the lead, then Germany back in, in, in the lead, and it was a wonderful goal by Forland that was in there. Um, Germany against Portugal in 2006, highly entertaining game. Germany wanted to finish the tournament in style. Portugal also wanted to get something out of it. Both had had a great tournament. It was Figos and Khan's last game, so there was a lot riding on there. Turkey against South Korea, maybe the least heralded third place game of them all, but have featured the fastest goal. Korea got back and Turkey made, managed to make a third place finish. Uh, Croatia against the Netherlands was also ent entertaining. The Netherlands featured a second string team, uh, but probably should, should have won it. They played their expansive style and um, Croatia made two goals and finished third place and the players came home heroes. Uh, just two more 
Uh, in 94, we had Sweden against Bulgaria. That was maybe not that much of an entertaining game, but still it was four goals. Um, and it's down to Bulgaria only playing for Stoichkov. They wanted that Stoichkov uh, had sole first place in the Golden Boot ranking. And yeah, Sweden played as a team and made it easily four goals. It was kind of a little bit deflating, I think, for Bulgaria, but I think they did not play with the right intention behind it. And then the other one, that's the, on those are alls that I have seen, but if you go back, I, you barely see a boring third place game. Uh, it was England against Italy, where both had a lot to play for, because Italy played at home, they wanted to finish the tournament in style, and England also wanted to finally get something. And I remember that particular matchup being a, actually a really good one. This was my first third place game that I watched, and I was not that j uh, jaded yet. That, um, you know, third place games don't count for anything. I really thought this is a third place you want to play for the bronze medal. I do understand that after you've lost the semi final, you're not as motivated. And I actually give coaches the freedom, so to speak, that if they don't want to feature a full string squad, yeah, let's play the reserve players. But there is some value in that game. Yes, as additional income for FIFA, so that's definitely the value for FIFA, then they won't give that one up. Uh, and the reason that the Euros don't feature a third place game is because they observed a tedious penalty shootout in 1980 between Italy and Czechoslovakia. I think it was at least nine players per team that um, went up there. I know it was a 9-8 win for uh, Italy, uh, for Czechoslovakia. And it was already a tedious game and, and so on. They said, no, we don't want to have that anymore. Uh, but at the World Cup, it was it's simply not true. So, yeah. I think it will be an entertaining game. Uh, so far we had many entertaining games and at this moment I don't even know the average uh, goals. I need to compute that. I, and the other thing I want to come for compute is the actual true goal scoring standings according to my formula. But I expect an entertaining game. Uh, I'm sure that England will want to get something out of it. I also think that once they take the field, Belgium will want to take something out of it. Both have a little bit of motivation and that's where I think the British spirit uh, will truly come to play because uh, there is a little bit more of this honor feel I always feel for England. And I think it would be nice if England can finish third place. This would be their second best showing at the World Cup ever. They already have it, but it would be shared with the 1990 squad. Um, yeah, so I really, really think this will be a good one. Honestly, it will, will be insane. Why not, not be the matchup that everyone will be talking about? I mean, no one, the, uh, while they're ent ent entertaining, no one will ever uh, talk about a great, great, great third place matchup. That doesn't happen. But people will talk about that this was a good game, probably, like I do. I'm actually a little bit a fan of, the, of these games. Uh, I do expect them to play in their first jerseys as they did in their group stage game, although that would be a weird curveball that FIFA could throw at us, but I really hope it will be the first team jerseys. Um, yeah, what else do, do I see? As I said, I think England will probably, I could England see playing their first team squad and Belgium maybe making a few changes. Um, I think it should be an open game. I think that's pretty much all that I can say about this. Uh, I don't want to make any predictions uh, because, you know, these things are hard to predict. I really thought that Brazil will win four years ago. I was afraid that Germany will win, uh, but Uruguay did quite well there. It's always hard to predict these things uh, because of the nature of play but I really would like if I have a favorite in that game I both both did very very well Belgium got some sympathies from me because they probably played the best or the most pleasant to watch soccer uh, in the tournament uh, but England also did well and I think I'm actually favoring a little bit England in this scenario 
gut feeling. It feels weird to me, but you know, I think I have more to say with uh, with England than with Belgium. It's also interesting if you've watched my video that uh, for two European nations that those have only met so far four times at big international tournaments, and yeah, once already at this World World Cup, and it's also weird that in a game where people say there's not much riding on it, uh, we have with two nations meeting in two such games in one tournament. That's gonna be odd, but I think that this game will be a little bit more. And uh, to be honest, the second half of the uh, Belgium-England game was actually quite entertaining, I would say. Uh, that was a, a beautiful goal, maybe there will be more. And it will have the alt, the World Cup top blooper was also from the game with Mark Dry hitting the post and then getting the ball back in the face after celebrating that goal. That was a, that's an all-time slapstick classic. So yeah, he'll be remembered f uh, for that for sure. Yeah, having said all that, I really hope you will enjoy that game. As I said, I'm not gonna make predictions on this one except on the, my model is gonna make predictions. Uh, but I really, I don't see who is better. If they will play both with the first string squads and would really play for it, I would say Belgium is the clear favorite. But as so often in these games, uh, you don't know and you don't know uh, about the motivation between those two. I think once you step on the pitch and you don't have any weird group constellations riding, both teams will actually want to play and will play uh, for the win. And yeah. Those are my thoughts. I know they're not, not probably too insightful, but as I said, watch the third place game. It is usually a nice game to watch. And if you if you have your rooting interest, whether you're from England or from Belgium, I think it's worth watching. Don't be sad that you didn't make the final. Celebrate. I think this third place game should be a celebration. It's a celebration for the two teams that have had a great World Cup. They made it to seven games. And that is a big achievement. And for both of these squads, I never, never, never will say that either one of them has failed. Yes, they fell short. Yes, there is some disappointment after the semifinals. I totally get it. But, and yes, uh, especially for England, I hear, yeah, they had an easy path. And this was, we had now a semifinal against Croatia, blah, blah, blah. Probably this was a one time chance to make the final. Don't see it that way really don't. Yes, it helps if you have an easy path, but um, chances will come again. And if you really want to threaten for a World Cup final, uh, the lack of the draw is not always what you need. Uh, invest in your infrastructure, get good players, and you will get there again. And I think uh, for England, I see it. Belgium, I see maybe, um, yeah, in two years time, Yes, I don't know if how it will look in four years, uh, but it might well. There could be a last hurrah. Well, hope you enjoyed this one and I'll talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.